so we went from positive 1.6 to negative 0.25 with three complete turns. All right guys, so we just finished going from no shims on my version two MPP Fuca to a full stack of shims. It's 18 millimeters of shims on my car. We originally started out no shims with around negative 2.8 degrees of camber on the driver's side and three degrees on the passenger side. We had these toe values, three hundredths of a degree of toe out, a hundredth of a degree of toe out. Now, after adding this 18 mils of shim stacks, we ended up with one degree of camber, negative camber on both sides approximately. That resulted in a lot of toe in, as you can see here. So we had 1.6 degrees of toe in on both sides. So both front wheels pointed towards the center. In order to get this back to a reasonable toe setting, at 5 hundredths of a degree of positive toe in, so a lot less toe in. It took us two and a half full turns of the tie rod to get us down to 5 hundredths of a degree per side. So in doing the math, it took us from 1.6 degrees of toe in to 5 hundredths of a degree of toe in. That delta is 1.55 degrees. You divide that out by two and a half full rotations of the tie rod. That means that each rotation of the tie rod should give you 0.62 degrees of toe. Now, if we are trying to toe out, that means you're turning that tie rod counterclockwise to produce negative toe. So counterclockwise, counterclockwise equals negative toe. Now, if you are actually going to be removing the shims, you'll be turning the tie rod the opposite direction. So you'll go clockwise, which will equal your positive toe. I hope this thing was very informative for you. Those of you who have mountain pass, upper control arms, you remove shims, you need to kind of figure out exactly where you need to go. This should help you out. It's not perfect. I do recommend you get toe plates so you can verify your measurements, center that steering wheel up. If you need to, you can get a steering wheel a depressor that will hold that steering wheel centered. Put it on toe plates, verify your me measurements, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. Thank you.